What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 101 and as you can tell, I have a beautiful rifle in front of me today. So before we go into the review, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the real steel Mauser Car 98. This was used by the Germans in World War II and has been a very big part of their militia and their history um, in the military. It's very, very renowned as far as one like gun that's been produced so many times, or <laughs> there's so many different um, models out there. Um, and the German Car 98, everyone knows what it is. Um, but this is the Tanaka Airsoft Works version, and it's very beautiful. This is not for the faint of heart, though. This is about a $700 rifle, um, and this is in the lower end. I actually got mine for about $360 shipped. I don't believe that they sell these anymore. Even Red Wolf, I think, is out. East Hobby Habeja might do it or might sell them, but um, for the most part, they're out of stock pretty much everywhere. I love this gun. It's actually made out of beech wood and a ton of really nice metal. Some of it's steel, some of it is other metal, um, but it's still very, very nice build quality overall. You can tell mine's used. Um, it's got some wear marks in it, but it doesn't really matter because it still shoots really well. I'm going to go ahead and start from the back. So this is steel. You can actually see the stamped um, eagle there. Um, I don't know if I can get that in the right, the super right angle, which isn't a huge problem, but that's really cool because you'll be able to see it. Um, the same logo is actually um, right here. It's got some very nice trademarks. You see the BNZ and then the just stamped in there. Um, there's the eagle again, and then 43 is the number up there. Um, you can actually run a sling on this. Uh, this one didn't come with it. I, I don't know if they come with it stock or if it's a separate purchase price, but my old one did, and you can run a sling from there um, to right there. I don't really care for the sling. It was cool, like, but I am just going to get a rig a one-point sling here probably because <laughs> I'm stupid like that, um, and I'm going to use a Saturday at Fallen Warriors, so I just wanna, I'm probably just going to put a one-point sling in there um, just because it's easier. And um, isn't, I think the sling is like $80 if you want to buy it separately. Um, under here, uh, the only thing that's not really not realistic about this gun is the fact that it has a removable magazine, but that's important for Airsoft just because that's sort of how they had to make it. Um, you can flick the magazine hole right here, and it is actually free falling, so it'll fall out. Um, it's a 10 round magazine. You can see up into the gun itself, you can see the bolt, um, how it moves, and you can see the sort of the mechanism in there. Um, the hop up to adjust it is right here. Um, you can see that it says up um, to turn it clockwise and then counterclockwise and opposite would be um, for the hop up to go down. This screw right here, as well as this screw, not this front screw, that's just, that's nothing. But this screw right here and this screw right here, if you want to take that, both of those out, you can pull this actual assembly out and then that also enables you to pull this entire thing out. I haven't pulled it exactly out, but I pulled this lower part in and I was messing with some of the stuff in here just to see sort of how it works. Uh, I tried to, had to fi I had to fix a little problem um, that was going on with mine, but it was very easy. You can see up here, this is very nice, um, very smooth assembly, very well. Um, done. Tanaka makes an excellent rifle. I, you guys probably have heard of at least um, something about Tanaka. They make a beautiful M700. Um, if you haven't heard of them, they're a Japanese company. Just makes really nice weapons, as you can probably see by this. Um, you see the bolt's got some wear on it, just because this one is used, like I said. Um, got some really cool um, things. You actually only have to pull the bolt back here um, and load it because it's a gas pullback rifle. <laughs> gas pullback rifle. Um, because it's a gas sniper rifle, so you just have to um, load it so that the BB um, and the magazine so it just loads a new BB right in there you just have to so if you even pull it back to right there it'll still load in a new BB um, I saw a guy actually it's one of Scout the Duggies videos doing that and I was like what in the world that's crazy why would you why would you do that um, why, I thought you had to pull it back all the way like real seal um, but no, you can't because it's gas, or you don't have to because it's gas. Um, this sight is steel. This is really cool. This is like the actual real steel one. Um, you can adjust for elevation, which is pretty cool. I like this. I just think that's unique. You also have a scope mount here. I don't have the scope. Actually, my old one didn't have the scope either. The scope I looked into, and it was just really expensive. So I did, wasn't very interested. You can see also um, here is the Tanaka Trades um, ASG K MFG Tanaka Works, and then it has. Um, model 98 like the real one real actual real Tanaka has which is really cool and then you can see that's I think that's the serial number that's what I'm guessing I don't remember if they were the same on all of them um, but either way that's really cool so yeah guys this gun is just absolutely uh, beautiful it's very very well made I believe it's made out of beech wood uh, that the wood is actually made out of which is really cool um, it's really high quality um, I actually have the, the I don't know if this is the case, but on my other one, the barrel actually rotated. It doesn't affect the inner barrel at all or anything with that, but 
on it my inner bar or my outer barrel rotated I don't know if this was because it was used so I just put <laughs> some duct tape on there it looks weird um, but it also doesn't look terrible because it's black so it blends in fairly well I just put it in here so the barrel doesn't rotate you see that the front sight here um, can line up with that other one it's just standard iron sights um, pretty nice it works um, they my other one had an orange sort of paint on here I'm guessing that has just been taken off um, but you can see that there's no orange tip on there anymore. The inner barrel, I believe, is 6.08 millimeter or 6.10 millimeter. It's a very nice brass inner barrel. Um, this is older. Um, the gun actually shoots at about 569 feet per second. So this is crazy as far as the FPS wise. Um, mine, ha my version has the fixed um, nozzle, so you can't change it. Um, or change the FPS. Some of them have what's called an end pass, which enables you to adjust the FPS in them, but this one doesn't. <laughs> and that's, it's just shooting crazy hard, so I gotta shoot people from, I think it's like my minimum engagement range is about 100, and, 100 150 um, feet away, but that's no problem, because this gun, I've seen people get hits up with this gun up to about 300 feet um, consistently, and that's, that's crazy to me, because I'm not that good or even have that much patience, but I just really appreciate the build quality of this gun. You can tell by the mags, this one's one of the older mags, you can say how sort of worn that is. You got the fill valve um, right there. This is where the gas is actually released into the gun. Um, it's very high quality, very well made. I have two of them um, because they each have 10 rounds each. The real steel Mauser Car 90 actually does not um, have, uh, like you can't take the magazine out because it's just, um, you will feed each individual round inside there. Um, but like I said, it's airsoft. The safety right here, you can see that it blocks the sight when it's flipped up into that um, up position, and it's also on safe there. Um, you pull the trigger, it doesn't do anything. Move it up to the top, pull the trigger, it doesn't do anything. But when you pull it to the left side, you can hear it, um, and you can see uh, right here go forward, the hammer like back there, which is pretty cool because that's realistic. The most uh, damage that it has is right there. I don't know exactly why, but it's kind of got a big scuff there. So thanks for watching, guys. I just figured I'd do a, an in-depth review as much as possible with this. I'm not going to take it apart because it's, I don't know anyone that really thinks it's necessary um, unless you want to like start working on yours, but I'm not. I don't want to take it apart because it's working fine right now. And like they say, don't fix or don't, if it doesn't, uh, not if it, wow, I can speak English. Um, yeah, you should just end the video there. It's pro that's probably a good idea. If it's not broken, you don't need to fix it. Ha, there you go. Um, so yeah, guys, beautiful rifle. Absolutely love this. Stick tune to some gameplay footage of this. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be awesome. Um, if not, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was able to give you some more ideas and more information about this beautiful one-of-a-kind sniper rifle. See you guys later.